Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new season in the Victor Bell Road to Glory here on NCAA 14. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic and we are enabled the opportunity to play in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game taking place in Atlanta, Georgia where we take on SEC Power Ole Miss. And it should be a good one. Teams are both similarly ranked and Kerb Herdstreak will be rocking with us. My man, this is going to be a good game because we are going up against a really good squad and I'm really excited for it. Our best opponent yet by far. Before we get out there on the field though, let's take a quick look at Victor Bell's stats going into his sophomore campaign. Dude is going to be a 94 overall and dude already looks like a certified beast. Sadly, he can't declare till the end of next season for the NFL Draft, but if he could, this dude would definitely be a first round pick already. So it should be a good one. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. I'll see you guys out there on the field. So Ole Miss is going to start with the ball in this game in the Chick-fil-A kickoff. And they mean business. Completing a slant pattern wide open to Jared Brown for the first. As Ole Miss, they do have a no huddle offense. And, you know, they're just going to keep running the same play right now until we figure out how to stop these guys. They ran two slants in a row. Looks like they're going to run a third slant play. But on the third time, we actually get to him. Because our boy Jonathan Stewart, I think he's a new starter uh, for this Boise State squad. Uh, we're gonna He's going to cause a sack for a loss. And then we're there to disrupt the halfback screen. And for now, Boise State is actually going to strike first as our offense gets a touchdown for us. But then there's... The Ole Miss coming together. Victor Bell misses the tackle, and we're going to pay for it dearly. It's an 87-yard touchdown run, and they just tie this game. So now Ole Miss, they're back at it again, and this time we actually tackle him for a, only a gain of two. That's Victor Bell's very first tackle of this game, and then we're also going to get our first sack of the game. And of the season on Brad Joseph, Victor Bell last year, of course, has 19 sacks. That, so that makes it number 20 on his young career. So now following drive with that drive stalling out. It's a new drive for the Ole Miss Rebels. And this running back just refuses to go down. I'm surprised he didn't get the first down marker because I really did think that he got there. But instead, it's going to be second and inches. It's going to be an outlet pass over to the tight end, Chris Bell. No relation to our boy, Victor Bell. As now, they're going to try to go deep. Luckily, our, our guys were there to break up the pass. Second and ten for Ole Miss. Looking to try to take the lead on us once again. And we nearly get to him. However, that slam pattern has been killing us today. As Jared Brown gets another catch. This is going to be for a third and short. And I thought we got the stand, but it looks like they're going to give him the first down. It's that SEC bias that I've been talking about. And now Ole Miss, they're continuing their drive, and they're getting even more yards on the ground before Victor Bell brings him down. That's tackle number three, if I'm not mistaken. And now Ole Miss, they're just continuing to drive down this field. They are trying their very best to take the lead in this Chick-fil-A kickoff. And there it is another slam pattern i don't know what we're doing on defense i don't know what our defensive coordinator has in mind but you know the slam pattern you know we don't have an answer for him and they get an even bigger pass on us this tommy forward gets some down to like inside the five but we're gonna stiffen up here as our boys make a stand at the goal line we're gonna at least force them back a few yards so now we got them in a third and goal we're gonna look at this Another slam pattern, and it works perfectly for him. Ole Miss has the lead. So now Ole Miss has the lead, and what's worse for us is that they now have the, the advantage here of great field position, and they're going to try their very best to take advantage of that field position, try to make this a two-score game, as there's, <laughs> once again, another slam pattern. Stop me if you heard that before, ladies and gentlemen. As we said, we have no answer, but at least our defense makes a stand. We're going to force them in a long fourth down, but what's this? They're actually going to go for it, and it's going to be a shot to the end zone, and I don't know how we drug those feet, but he dragged the feet, and now we're down 21-7. to 
thankfully for us, though, our guys fight back. We got a touchdown on the next drive, the offense did, and then forced a turnover on special teams, and now they got another field goal off of it. So now what was a two-possession game is now down to just a five-point game. Definitely an exciting kickoff game that you wanted to see in a neutral side game in Atlanta. As Victor Bell, he's eyeing to make tackle number four. Victor Bell being a disruptor out here. That's already his fourth tackle. It's two for which are for a loss. I'm not mistaken in there. We are getting another sack on this quarterback. This time, Brandon Maxey is the culprit. And that's three sacks for us already as now we got him to a third and 18. We're going to try to run this halfback screen, but it simply does not work. We were ready for it, and they punted this ball away. So now here we are in the second half. Our guys did not score to end the first half, so we're still down by five. So this could potentially be a big drive for us here as their running back, Matt Massey. Goes up the gut. He picks up the first. And now they're in Boise State territory. We need a stop as there's Victor Bell once again getting another tackle. It's already tackle number five. Yeah, always Victor Bell is doing his best to limit this, the speed of his Ole Miss offense as we almost had sack number two. But unfortunately, we don't get it. But we get a big loss on the next play. And it's dude was flipped upside down oh my goodness can you believe it i have never seen that animation before but of course the next play though they um pick up 12 more yards and they got all of that lost yardage back and so much more so now here we go third and three they're gonna try to run a quarterback keeper but our boys was ready for it. it's a one yard loss rondell garrett uh was there to make the stop and now unsurprisingly they're going for it here on fourth down but our defense response this time it is no fourth down conversion. Our boys have a chance to take the lead, and the lead we got back. It is a one-point lead for Boise State, and now we are in the fourth quarter. It is all going to go down to this. This uh, quarter right here is going to determine the winner of this game, as there is Matt Massey there with another big run. Matt Massey has been killing us a little bit on the ground, but then on the next play, they try to throw a wide receiver screen. It's not going to work, and it's going to be carried all the way back. It's going to be a defensive touchdown for us, and now all of a sudden, with the extra point, we are now going to have an eight-point lead. So now not only do they need a touchdown, they also need the two-point conversion, but Victor Bell has something to say about that as we get another TFL. It's tackle number six on the day. As second and 14, quarterback simply going to run for his life. Managed to get six. I thought we were going to get a sack there. So now third and eight coming up. Brad Joseph dropping back in the pocket. He doesn't see anybody. He's going to try to throw a prayer. But it's almost intercepted by Bob Johnson. And they are going. No, I thought they were going to go for it. But they actually just punted away. As now our offense scores in the next drive. So now we made it a two possession game. So if we get one more stop right here, that means this game is effectively going to be over. And right now, Brandon Maxey, you know, playing with some heart, man. Got in, got the deflection. And now it's second and ten. They run the screen, but they don't know that it doesn't work as Victor Bell is there to break up the pass. And now it's third and ten coming up here. Victor Bell actually almost gets to the quarterback, but luckily that pass was broken up. And now it's going to all come down to this. 4th and 10 on the 35. Brad Joseph, he got happy feet in the pocket. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. And that's going to basically seal this game for us. And what's going to be icing on the cake is we get an additional sack on Brad Joseph. And that's going to be sack number 2. As you can see, the highlights from this game, man. We are killing it out on the field. Just absolutely harassing this Ole Miss offense and it's gonna lead to a 39 to 21 victory what a way to start this season off let's freaking go all right guys so here's the final stats for Victor Bell and he certainly did his thing out there today he had seven tackles three for a loss he had two sacks as well and he was an disruptor for Ole Miss's passing game the entire game 
and he was a huge reason why we won this kickoff special in week one such a great win for Boise State you love to see it all right so next time out we are actually going to have a Sugar Bowl rematch against the Yukon Huskies this time actually going to the state of Connecticut it should be a good game but that's all I have for today guys make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you're brand new as well as I would appreciate it I'll catch you guys next time and hope you all have a wonderful day take care everybody